appendages of prawn okay penis indica is a marine prawn we discuss about this appendages a prawn has 19 appendages 13 cephalic cephalothoracic appendages and two and six abdominal appendages when discuss about the cephalothoracic appendages first prayer is antinule and second prayer is antenna third prayer is mandible and fourth and fifth is first maxilla and second maxilla and sixth seventh eighth is maxillipids nine to thirty walking legs are present then 14 to 80 swimming legs or pleopods and 19 segment is compound or, uh, co uh, contain uropods when discuss about the cephalic appendages first pair contain antinue okay lie below the eye stalk each antinue has a protopodate made in three podomies namely precoxa coxa and basis Okay, their precoxa is a hollow contained cavity uh, for the eye and the opening for statocyst. Statocyst is the balancing organ. Okay, endopodate and exopodate are made, made up of many segments. We discuss about this. Yeah, this is the region of precoxa, this is coxa and basis. Okay. Endopodate and exopodate, these are the two. These are endopodate and exopodate. They would be got, uh, many segments which is modified into fillets. Fillets item are it on diricum. Okay, and you know, as a sensory, and the main, uh, main function is sensory as well as the tactile organ or contains status for organ of balancing. Then, next is uh, antenna situated behind the antenna. The protopodate have two segments, coxa and basis. Then endopodate is modified into long jointed filaments called phylum. Okay, filament I don't know. It is contain filamentous. It is endopodate. Where exopodate is uh, modified into a broad plate called a scomb. Is exopodate is a scomb. It's called a scomb, a broad plate. Okay, it is function is tactile organ then we discuss about the mandible it will lie on the either side of mouth either side of mouth and it can be the other side of the mouth as well as a uh, protopodate is modified into classified teeth okay this is the region protopodate is modified into a classified teeth endopodate is double segmented endopodate and this is an endopodate this double segmented and the process called pulp there is no exopodate exopodates are absent in mandible they are masticatory in function mandibles are masticatory in function then while then next is first maxilla first maxilla contain endopodate is an endopodate these are small appendages each maxilla consists of protopodate two filament leaf like lobes called gnathobases the coxa and basis in the bar in the is like a um, leaf like glob is called in natto basis they are covered with the minute hairs endopodate is slender is an endopodate it is slender or exopodate is absent it is used to, used to pass the food to the mouth second maxilla second maxilla is an interesting is a ear like uh, shape Okay, it is protopodate is flat and cut into four leaf like lobes. It's a protopodate is cut into four leaf like lobes. Okay. Towards the mouth uh, pointing towards the natto basis. The exopodate is modified into broad lobe like structure called the endopodate. Uh, is small unsegmented feeling called uh, is respiratory uh, is endopodate is respiratory in function, it is exopodate. Okay. Then we move to uh, thoracic appendages directed towards the middle line of the body. The first three prayers are take part in the feeding. Feeding is um, uh, first maxillipid, second maxillipid and third maxillipid. Five prayers are used for walking legs. Walking legs are okay, these are kilipids and chelate and it is non-chelate legs. Okay.
here is uh, some differences and uh, basis it is an endopodytis in first maxilla endopodytis is a uh, triangular in shaped uh, exopodator endopodator five segments are in all the cases they are exo uh, endopodytis are sorry endopodytis are five segments are exopodytis and were in an unsegmented itala uru region is a region Okay, protopodite is present, Proto, uh, sorry, epipodite is present, epipodite is, uh, we discussed uh, more on the respiration of prone, it is an important one in respiration, okay, it help in the respiration. Then we discuss about the uh, first maxillipid and uh, second maxillipid, first maxillipid is called thin and flat, tana. okay, the coxine basis is the natto basis, and okay. Second and third maxilla is a second maxilla. Endopodate is like a question mark. Okay, endopodate is question mark in shape. Okay, protopodate and the coxan base is also present. Okay, it is endopodate is five segments. Exopodate is a structure. Right, structure right, right. Epipodate is Y shaped in structure. Okay, third maxillipid also. Only difference between first maxillipid and third maxillipid is endopodate. In First maxillipid it is endopodate is question mark and uh, uh, sec third maxillipid it is endopodate is straight. Okay, then we discuss about uh, walking legs. Five pairs of walking legs are present in prawn. Then discuss about the uh, first three pairs are chelate. Chelate is uh, helping to uh, chelates are grasp food and pushes into mouth. It helps to grasp the food and pushes into mouth. Here is a uh, endopodate is five segmented. Uh, this is called a uh, five segments uh, is named as first segment ischium, marus, carpus, prodopus, ductilus. These are the names of the segments. Okay. Is a chela present in the top of the segment? Okay. Uh, where exopodate is very small. As compared to endopodytis, exopodytis is very small, epipodytis is y shaped. Here are the chelates. Non chelates, they are only the same structure of chelates. So, so first appendage is uh, not chela is not present. Okay, then we discuss about the abdominal appendages. A six pair in number on abdominal appendages, they are helping the simming. Here, uh, Europods. Europods is an important character for backward swimming of prawn. It uh, help the backward swimming. Okay, Europods is an important character. And it's a symbol. The coxa and basis are fused to form symbol. Coxa and basis fused to form symbol. Here, only in this case, exopodate is larger and endopodate is smaller. The only in the presence of abdominal appendages, exopodate is larger and endopodate is smaller. It is considered as a typical appendages. Okay. Then it is an important character. In male, their endopodates are hook shaped and fused to form a structure called a petasma. Okay, petasma is an important character of prawn because petasma is, is a reproductive. Uh, it's in a reproductive organ. Okay. It is used to uh, help to use. It is used for transferring sperm to the telecom of female. Female telecom uh, to help to uh, transfer the sperm. Okay. These are the. This is the simple introduction of the appendages of the prawn. Thank you. Thank you.